That's a good start. He was testing this engine. That was its first fire up. It's pretty good going. Nice, didn't take you long and it was idling pretty well. Yeah, and it's pretty cold today. It's pretty cold today. There was no point trying to take footage while he was being noisy and it's raining. It's just, it's starting to really pour. But he's doing this one here for a high A's van. It's uh, getting a little Link Monsoon X. We've tried to do as much as we can with it as we possibly could. Can you pass me the stack, stock loom you started with? It's just there. So this is the high ace van loom for the four cylinder. And this is, this one was a four cylinder injected petrol. So a lot of the stuff that's required is actually already in here. And you can see there's, it's missing a plug because Jason's fitted that plug onto the loom. So it kind of plugs in. Good. <laughs> yeah. As much as we could get it to plug in. You've made it plug in. Yeah. yeah. Without having the vehicle here, do you? <laughs> Yeah. Now, I think if I find in here, I think if we look here, oh, there's the four pin. So there's a four pin plug for the TPS, making the TPS like really long. I can't unplug it. There we go. So he's made it so it can come out. We often remote the throttle bodies on a high ace van. So he's made the TPS to suit. We make up this bit of a, we call it a gonzo tube. The tube comes out, but the air intake sensor still fits in that tube or otherwise it fits in a fairly normal position there it is here that's it perfect so i can fit in that tube Fine nicely to go anywhere in that. yeah i think i put the last one up in here like this it's getting coil on plug which is uh, that one wasted spark um on the monsoon and he's put this extra of just it's Spear wires running from over by the battery box over to over to here. Somewhere in here. In there somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. There's a little gearbox loom as well. That's, that's a three pin. It probably need a four pin. This one, this the one below. This one. This one. That's it. So the, it'll run down behind the battery and up up the B pillar, the fictitious B pillar, where the ECU will mount in the stock position. Now this one, we've also covered it in um in raychem but it's a different spec slightly lower spec than the dr25 this is a um, rnf 100 I'm sure it's rnf 100 i will confirm on that no. yes, RNF. Yeah, rnf 100 and it's come up pretty well just giving it a, a, a really endurable a really endurable a really durable finish and keeping the price down a little bit runs along here runs through here to all the coils nice and neat runs through here through the injectors same on this side EFI water temp sensor no cold start injector timer cold start injector can be removed and thrown away not used on the aftermarket system cam sensor Crank sensor, of course, and then there's this plug. Have you made the loom for that yet? Did. Did I? Did. So. I made all of them for this. Oh, good. This one is for oil pressure, and it will run back to the ECU and oil temperature. And he's made, Jace has made, a considerably long lead. About a metre long, a bit over a metre. It's also got an oil pressure switch in it if required and an air conditioning wire 
taking that back to the EC by the ECU. By the ECU, you can see we've bridged into the factory plug to run the power feeds for coils and injectors. There's a couple of relays. So one of these is for the fan. There's got to be a fan output. Oh, it looks like that's a fan output right there. Output right there. So we'll write on here that that's the fan output. And then... Those uh, rest uh, triggers ECU output power. And... Oh, yep, so those triggers for into there. Yep. Main power feed right here. You, did you put an eyelet on that one so it can go to the battery? Yeah. Or it's, I would, I'd say the glow plug fuse, but it's a petrol. Into the ECU, grommet here, and a grommet here. So 65 millimeter grommet, nice and simple to install. Everything that we do is, is customized at this point. So this man had contacted us, Lexus wanted an aftermarket computer, and we've made a loom based on his requirements. So little things like it's got the factory plug for the gearbox, so that will plug in like normal. There's a, a plug back here for the gearbox. That one, that's the, that's the gearbox loom going down the gearbox. But in the meantime, the speed signal's gone to the ECU, can be modified and come back out. And that way we can use the, the link to correct the speedo because it will need to be correct when it goes to certification. So Jace did a bit of upcycling and covered the factory loom, put a plug on it, and it goes. The man also requested coil on plugs that are low. So I've got to check I've got some of those. Because he wants to put the covers back on. So I actually really like these ones. The more I get into these, I actually really like them because one, they bolt in, they're the right length. That's the, um, so these are like a V6 Toyota coil. One GR, one GR? Is that the Hilux engine, a one GR? And a one MZ, or a RAV4, some of them have that same coil. Right length, it bolts in, but it's got the uppy plug. Mm. Have you got the loom for going under the, into the starter trigger as well? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> There'll be one of them too. <laughs> so that's good, it's a loom to the starter. I know that was like a week ago that I did that. <laughs> With the little monsoon, they are a, a budget orientated ECU, but we do a lot with it. So it's got oil pressure running in, it's got uh, oil temperature running in, we put a pull up resistor, and I've done a video on that. We do speedo correction, there is a taco output, uh, but then we are mod required in the dash, there's a resistor to remove, so that will work. Or resistor to add, a pull-up resistor to add to make the factory dash work because this one was run off like a four-cylinder coil output. We've also added the ability, if required, to put a single knock sensor in it. So really making it a versatile ECU that does a lot of stuff and will run this thing really well. It's got an internal map sensor, so we better give a length of vacuum hose too. A metre and a half of vacuum hose with it. Which I just put it away. Oh, that's long enough? Cool. Well, no, that's... No. Oh, might be just long enough. Yep. We also like to hot start them, like Jace did today. And you actually witnessed the first startup. And it, hey, it didn't run perfectly straight away. But then he's gone in and he's set it up to suit what we're doing. Of course, it will need a tweak once it's on the vehicle. But it should pretty quickly get it in, get it running. Get it driving. Do you fire it up one more time? Sure. Call it done and you can shrink it down and build another one. I'm going to put my earmuffs on. Yeah. Boom. 
You turn it off. Well done. Done. So it's tested, it's done, it's good. Come off the engine, final check, ready to go in a box and be fitted. Well done. Did you just turn the key on because the fuel pump's going? Oh no, the fuel pump's on the... Oh, a fuel pump's on a key. Because of course we're using factory fuel pump relay. Yeah, we'll just have to use something. Yeah, got it, I understand.